As part of our discussion on intermolecular forces, it's important to emphasize that these types of attractions can occur between like molecules, but we also have intermolecular forces and attractions between different molecules within a mixture. So in our first example here, we have ethanol, and we know that ethanol can participate in hydrogen bonding because it has hydrogen directly attached to oxygen. There's another water molecule above that, and that water molecule is acting as a hydrogen acceptor, and the ethanol is acting as a hydrogen donor. So, big takeaway here, when a molecule has H directly bonded to F, O, or N, it can act as a hydrogen acceptor or a hydrogen donor. We've seen other molecules in our discussions, such as dimethyl ether. Now, dimethyl ether doesn't have hydrogen directly bonded to oxygen. However, it does have this oxygen here, and that oxygen will have a partial negative charge. And if we add some water with the dimethyl ether, then the water can potentially hydrogen bond with the dimethyl ether. However, this relationship, this intermolecular force, is only going to look one way. The dimethyl ether will always be a hydrogen bond acceptor. It will never be a hydrogen bond donor because it doesn't have the H connected directly to the oxygen. Can ethanol hydrogen bond with other molecules of ethanol? Sure. It's got H directly attached to oxygen, so that'll definitely happen. Can ethanol hydrogen bond with water? Absolutely. They both have H directly attached to oxygen, so that will definitely happen as well. Can DME hydrogen bond with other molecules of DME? Well, the answer here is no. Because these hydrogens are not directly bonded to oxygen, fluorine, or nitrogen, they're not positive enough to participate in hydrogen bonding. The pure liquid, the pure um, sample of DME won't have the hydrogens that it needs to participate in hydrogen bonding. Can DME hydrogen bond with water? Yes, but DME will always be the acceptor. There's no way that DME can be a hydrogen donor. Which molecule, ethanol or DME, is more soluble in water? So when it's a two-way relationship like this, this helps with solubility issues. So ethanol will be more soluble in water. So in this first example, fluorine is not bonded directly to that hydrogen. So as a pure compound, we're not going to see hydrogen bonding. However, since there is a very electronegative fluorine in this molecule, if we decided to put some water in there, this compound can act as a hydrogen bond acceptor with the water molecule. And I'll use a dashed line to show that intermolecular force. So, yes, it can act as a hydrogen Yes, it can hydrogen bond with water. In this next example, we have H directly bonded to nitrogen. And that's what we need to see. So as a pure sample, we will see hydrogen bonding. This molecule can hydrogen bond 
with itself. And with water, it can also hydrogen bond. The presentation on this last one is a little bit different. So a couple things. One, they left out the lone pair on the nitrogen. And they also used a condensed presentation. So each one of these carbons has three hydrogens attached to it. And as the molecules get bigger, the condensed presentation becomes more and more common to the point where you start just drawing lines and the vertexes represent carbon. Anyways, there's no hydrogen directly bonded to nitrogen. So as a pure substance, we do not expect to see hydrogen bonding, but there is a nitrogen in this compound. So um, with water, we will see it acting as a hydrogen acceptor.